and uh, general meeting. Uh, thank you for your uh, sparing your time with us. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this uh, brunch uh, this morning and afternoon. Uh, so first of all, uh, if you can look at the uh, brochures that which our secretary already prepared. So uh, we, we would like to start the meeting of this uh, general meeting, annual general meeting. So, uh, of course, as you see, can see uh, 1.0, so it's a presidential speech, and then 2.0, approval of minutes of last annual general meeting dated March 25th, 2023. So, if um, you check on the book, so look at the page 4. So, these are the minutes that have been prepared, so for the past uh, past year, so from page four to page nine. So, it, hello, hello, hello. So you can see, uh, secretary already prepared all the uh, meeting agenda, uh, starting from the those years uh, attendance, uh, with the secretary reports, which we have fully reports what we have been doing for the past year. Um. Uh, if you can see the annual general reports, we actually compound the financial reports and then committee lists and then also about the elections of the new office bearers. So, and then, um, of course, you already know who are the uh, committee lists from our nationals. So, we consist of 26 uh, committee members. So, starting from uh, uh, key posts like national president, uh, three deputies, six vice president, and then uh, every meeting. Hello, every meeting also we have a proposal and seconder for all the amendments and also uh, we, uh, the proposal has been uh, going passed by the committees. Uh, and then uh, we also have appointment of auditors. If you can see the. Uh, previous appointment auditors are Aristan, uh, deputy are Yvonne Ern. Later on, we will propose the, the new uh, lineup for this uh, coming year. So, I think we need proposal and second for the minister. Right? Yeah. Uh, before that, we can uh, also uh, introduce uh, some of our lineup here. So next to me are Karen, our General Secretary, Karen Tan, and then Esther, actually our Deputy uh, Secretary. And then on my left are Sully, also Deputy. Uh, Lenny Cha on that side is also Deputy. Uh, Dr. Evelyn, uh, also Deputy. Uh, and then here, um, Carol is our Treasurer. So all money issue relates to Carol. <laughs> okay? So we need a proposal and second for this. Page four to page nine. Okay. We need one proposal and second for page four to page nine. Page nine. Can I have the proposal? Correction now. Only those. Are allowed to do this. Yes, correct. Who are attend? Yes, I. Uh, anyone proposal here can raise up your hand and uh, uh, tell me us your name. Proposal, please. Please is the proposal. Can I have a seconder? Can I? Uh, repeat. Ah, repeat seconder. Okay. So and then we go to you go to second is Lipping. Okay, and then um, three point zero secretary general report. So it's presentations of uh, Magwin and the report two zero two three. As you can see, the, this whole book is actually a uh, annual report for two zero two three. So starting from third page two. So notice of annual general meeting. 
as uh, this is this is the format that we always use during our committee meetings. Um, uh, we always uh, have the approvals of minutes and then presentations of annual report, financial report, and then um, you can see the these are the previous minutes point pre appointment uh, of VP, deputy treasurer. These are the contents that we are going to discuss later on for today. Yeah, very funny. Yeah, and today agenda, page three. So if you can look at the point one, so we have the exhibitions set up for those um, we provide for members benefit, so for free for today. So later on you can enjoy the visiting the exhibitors from, all from our memory system. And then uh, arrival of members and registration open. And today also we actually we have hybrid. Um, so we have online members who are attending the uh, annual uh, general meeting. So we say hello to online system. So we have, uh, who cannot come today. And uh, of course we, we have been prepared breakfast and also members networking for two days. So 9.45 members to be seated. So 10 o'clock meeting start. So as you can see, we already gone through annual report. So up to the present and discuss future activities during the past year. Okay. So later on, I will go through this one. And the financial report later will be presented by Carol. So reappointment. So later I will touch on this one. Okay. And then, okay, I would like to introduce if you can see page 12, Board of Advisory 2023 and 2025. So the panel advisors on the board are Dr. Ng Wan Pei. So uh, she is the Chief Operations Officer of uh, Malaysia Digital Economy Corporations uh, for past uh, her I mean, involvement. So we also have Dr. Michael Gang. So also past president of SME Association of Malaysia. And then Mr. Chi, so he's from PICOM. And you can see the, the, uh, his experience are related to IT. And then we also have Miss Karen Q. So she's also a manufacturer of the uh, cosmetic products. And then we also have Tatin Fang Suwa. So she's very expertise in uh, local and um, overseas exhibitions, especially bringing up the import and export of uh, our products to uh, overseas and also import in. So, okay, and then on page 13, so the organization chart. So just now I already um, introduced some of our ESCO. So um, I would like to introduce our vice president also on the board. So you can see Vice President, we have Evelyn Chong, and then uh, Sally Chua, Nikki Ng, Sharon Lian, Chris Angel, and also Sherwin Tong. And then um, carry on also, uh, we will be uh, table to be uh, Deputy Treasurer. So you would like to have the appointments later on to be uh, uh, um, supported by my person. And then, uh, just as we say, the lineup consists of 13th of uh, ordinary committee members as well. So we have Kelly Chan, that is Sri Vivian, Jin Eun is actually from Malacca, and then Jamie Wong, Nicola is also a new um, committee which we would like to uh, propose, and then Yap Li Peng, Lilian Oi, Jess Tang, Hannah C, and Kritcha. Prisu and Hazelin. So um, to introduce uh, what is MacWe about, so you can see all this uh, organization chart. So if you want to be um, uh, on the committee board or to be um, uh, eligible uh, committee members, so first thing you must be a business owner. And then uh, 
Of course, uh, with um, experience in the uh, NGO organization, so these are the lineup that we have been running to from 2024 and proposed to be 2025. So and then we run through some activities which we have been done. So you look at the page 14. So um, activities start from March 2023 to March 2024. Uh, so you can see March 25th we have met we annual general meeting and then we also uh, approved one, we have one caring heart charity and uh, there are also puzzle dinners which um, uh, maybe uh, members and committee have been also attended and then POMM uh, role models recognition ceremony and also we always have visits from different NGO so you can see uh, April 28, 2023 we have pinning PWCC visiting Macri KL and then uh, May 6 ADRC med meditations program so May 13 brand visits to Rotorate and then 520 brand visit to Missing Dinsa and then uh, June 17 SME business awards launch ceremony so and then uh, June 24 brand visit to Sage and then uh, July 22 brand visit to Vegetable Farms and this farm owns by Esther she plant the jungle <laughs> and then, uh, August 1st of August Brand visit to in a big wireless birth, birth nest and then August 14 visit to Mary Malacca and then August 19 image business talk then um, August 23 visit to excellent business award August 24 NCW Malaysia Women Day celebration August 25th brand visit to Manila Crip Cakes so these are the corporate visits that we have been running uh, since last year and then September 5th visit to Mary Pinning and Para So and national installation 923 business talk on corporate culture and financial management 925th brand visit to Durham Farm, Morasan and B uh, September 29th Lantern Gathering August 30th Brand visit to Below Hair Studio. November 6th, World Go Mac Awards Ceremony. November 17th, Business Talk at Women Entrepreneurs Exchange Forum. November 1823, visit to Mac Wee November 22, Sinchu Excellent Business Award Judging. December 3rd, Brand visit to Yong Zuli Call. Business Talk by uh, our sister Yong Zuli. And December 23, business talk by Sister Nikki Ng, Dr. Joey Koo. January 15, charity for breast cancer event at Wise Crafter. January 28, CNY Low Sun and Jack birthday celebration. Uh, February 1st, brand visit to Metro Jaya. February 22, Simshu Excellent Business Awards charging. March 1st, uh, maybe National Chinese New Year and Women Day celebration, just re recently done. March 7, business talk by Grand Time. And then, okay, we also compound the Malaga uh, activities. So you can see they are also very active. So amongst the, uh, uh, our uh, different states organization, so you can see our national committee visit. We also visit them as um, August 14, 2023. September 28th, so when level up your business sharing. And then uh, October 19, fun day we put. October 22, uh, co host breast cancer awareness talk at Pandai Hospital. So December 17, lighting the future care sponsor school bag. January 11, Malacca committees visit investment Malacca perhaps. January 24, Malacca Committee's visit to Sing Chiu. Business sharing, networking at restaurant, Malacca Ryan's. January 24, 1st, 28, Malacca CNY gathering. February 15, 
um, CMI networking and chemistry. Um, we we were uh, so August 14 National Committee we seek um, para typing. Then um, February 14 Magui para team CNY celebration at typing seafood restaurant. Okay, so we. Uh, uh, we also have this compilations of KIS. I already run through this just now. Okay. So basically, these are the activities uh, for the past year. So we also need a proposal and secondary. Shall we to propose? Uh, we need a secondary. So I would like to say a big thank you to our dedicated uh, committee who has been running through so many activities. So until we also, every month, every week also, we got many, many activities. So I would like to say um, thank yous for all the contributions. And I would like to pass the um, next to our treasurer. So she will be uh, proposing the treasurer general report. Okay, hello. Uh, please refer to the page 23. Uh, this is the statement finance. Uh, we are accumulate up to 31st of December. You can see uh, we have a non current asset 5348. Uh, we have with the equipment, and the current asset is 2000. In the bank, we have 28,403 asset. So the asset part total will be thirty thousand four hundred and three ringgit seventy five cent. So for the current liability, other payable we have eight thousand nine hundred forty seven uh, fifty cent, and net current asset we have twenty one thousand four hundred fifty six ringgit and twenty five cent, and the net assets will be have thirty thousand four hundred and three ringgit seven. Hello, 75 cents. Okay, next part will be financed by the uh, balance sheet for the member fund. We have 72,668 ringgit 83 cents. And we have the charitable fund um, be minus 46,728 ringgit 58 cents. And the balance and the member fund will be balanced 25,940 25 cent. So statement of the profit or loss for the period ended 31st of December 2023. So total income we have from uh, membership fees 20,300. We have the event collection fund. 54,374 ringgit and total income we have 74,676 and less of our expenses we have uh, accounting fees 8,200 event expenses 60,653 ringgit 45 cents uh, we have promotion 9,619 ringgit 20 cents and food and beverage, we have 7,492 ringgit 22 cents. Gift and souvenir, we have 4,101 ringgit 20 cents. Subscription fees for the KLSC double we have 100. Telephone charge, we have 3,493 ringgit and 9 cents. And website fees for the domain and uh, hosting, we have 400. 50. And salary, we have a uh, seventeen thousand three hundred and thirty-four ringgit eighty-two cent. Printing and stationery, we have three hundred ninety and sixty cent. T-shirt and jacket, we have nine thousand four hundred and eighty ringgit. And professional fees, we have one hundred fifty-nine. So total expenses will be one hundred twenty-one thousand four hundred and two ringgit and fifty eight cent. So total balance, uh, we have a defeat of forty six thousand seven hundred twenty ringgit and fifty eight cent.
that's all from me for the report up to 31st of December 2023. We need one proposal for that. We have Chris. Can I have a seconder? Yes. Okay, you can come to me. Any any question you can come to me. We need a seconder. Can I have a seconder? Oh, we have oh, okay. Tipping. because some of the old committees who has been resigned. So you can see the first 5.11. So last night was a VP, so hosted by Jennifer. So she resigned already. So you would like to propose another uh, new candidate. So her name is Sally Chua Si Yi. So uh, this is the profile. So she's a consultant pharmacist. Uh, so she has been also active in Magui since the uh, past uh, few years. So we need a proposal and also a second. Okay, so 5.12. So last time uh, was Deputy Treasurer uh, Iwa. So this post also an appointment post. So we propose a new candidate, Carrie Ong Po John. So today's booklets all printed by the company. So she's a graphic designer and also a printing company. So yeah, next time we have more budgets for treasure for more better book. <laughs> Yeah, so we also need a proposal as a Proposal? Name? Name is Grace. 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 Proposed by Grace. Jamie. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, 5.13. So, ordinary committee members. Last time was Mandy. And uh, I think she delivered a baby, that's why I'm very busy. So, <laughs> cannot attend. So uh, we propose uh, Jean. So Jean is actually from Malacca. So she also chair Malacca's um, uh, organization. Then uh, she's uh, involved in HALA FMP consultancy and training. So she is one of the very active uh, members since she joined. So can we see who is Jean? Where is Jean? Yeah. So she has been very supportive. Very so we need a proposal and also something. Ah, definitely. Nikki. 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 So Nikki. 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 So we also propose a new candidate. Ah, and then for your information, for Magui's practice, huh? so those who have been uh, in committee positions, so we cannot miss three times meeting without a solid reason. That's why I see we are quite strict on this attendance. So because we want to deliver a better result for all the uh, meetings performance. Huh? 
So that's why some of the non-active, we, we, we propose a new candidates. So those non-active one will automatically become a members only, but not committee. So we propose Nicole Lau Guan Si. So she do pest control, green pest control. Yeah, so Nicole is there on the left. So, <laughs> so we need a proposal and seconder as well. Jim proposed and we need a second. We need a second. Please, please. 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 Okay. And then 5.15. Sally. 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 Oh, yeah. So then this is a committee post. So we propose Prisu Si Sing. Please. Please. Yeah. So can we see my profile? So she is actually an uh, engineering and uh, equipment for food productions. Yeah. So we also need a proposal as a second. Sharon can propose. Okay. So basically, um, we are done with this. Okay, and then 6.0. Some of the discussions on future plan, which we have been uh, finalized with our committee. So we proposed um, second quarters we have a uh, business trip to Sabah and Sarawak. So we will be discussing the detail. And then third for four quarters, uh, as promised. So this year we will have uh, visitations to um, China. So we are still um, discussing with a few uh, proposing uh, coordinations. So basically, it's uh, related um, to some of the big corporates in China. So, for example, like Huawei and some of the big company, um, we would like to expose more. And also the China uh, exhibitions hosted by the um, China government. Okay, so we also need a proposal as a candidate for this. <laughs> Then 7.0, we also propose some of the amendments on the constitution. So this part I will let um, Sully, so she is a lawyer, so she will run to review the points uh, why we propose this amendment of constitution. So Sully will go through this. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Uh, now we will go through the uh, meeting for amendment of our constitution. This is due to our constitution is quite old and some of the provision actually uh, is outdated. So we want to update the constitution. We will run through one by one and for our amendments, we need everyone to work cross by cross. So for the first one, um, the, um, the name of the association, we do not make any amendment. We just add in uh, Betaraf Kebangsaan, which means its status is national. So uh, to expedite the process, who would uh, take against this amendment? We just want who disagree with the amendments to raise hand so that we can have a very quick calculations. So item one, any objections? Okay, no, so all agree. Item two is the address of our associations. The old address actually is not, uh, we, we do not have an operation there. So we will change to the new address, which is opposite of uh, this cafe. The new address will be 1A Jalan Kuti E, of Jalan B 551 
zero zero Kuala Lumpur. So this will be the registered address of our associations. Any objections for second amendment? Cross two. And for those who are online the, in the zone, if you would against, please uh, type in the chat box that you would against the amendment. If not, then we will click it that you agree with the amendment. Okay, I uh, FASA two. Everyone agree. So uh, the item three can we move to FASA three? Okay, this is the objective of our association. So on the left will be the old crosses and on the right will be the new crosses. So basically uh, it is similar. Just that we delete item C which is memberikan sumpangan tan perkhidmatan berteraskan amal kepada para ahli. So we have deleted item C. The rest will be similar with our objective. Any objection? With the amendment? For the objectives, we just delete item C and we maintain uh, the rest. Okay? So, uh, FASA 4, we move to FASA 4 which is uh, our membership. This is uh, also important. So uh, the old versions, uh, they are for the ordinary member, is stated the old version is uh, 18 years old and above, uh, Chinese citizen, uh, uh, ladies, uh, must be an entrepreneurs and uh, Malaysian citizenship. So the new amendment, also the same, 18 years old and above, uh, Chinese, uh, the, uh, female and female entrepreneurs, and also uh, Malaysian citizen. And we also add in a few other requirements such as must not be a background, uh, have not been uh, involved in any crime, yeah, and also uh, there are other amendments which is uh, inconsistent with the ROS policy. So, any objections for for this amendment? We only amend the requirements under ordinary members. The rest we follow the same as the old constitutions. Okay, if no objections, then we will move to FASA 5. Okay, this one also, uh, all the sisters must pay attention because this is the membership fees of our association and this is one of the major amendments under the constitution. So the first one is the annual fee. So as sister away, every year the renewal fee will be 100 ringgit. Okay, every year will be 100 ringgit. But now under the new amendments, it will be increased to 150 ringgit per year. Which means if you approve this amendment, from next year onwards, the membership renewal fee will be 150 ringgit. On top of that, we also have... Uh, okay, sorry. The 150 is the membership joining fees. And renewal fees will be increased to 200. So, the joining fee 150 for existing member, you do not have to pay this amount. But for the new member who join the association, must pay one of 150, 150 as joining fees, and the renewal fees will be 200. So increase from 100 to 200 every year. So this is the proposed amendment. You may review and.
uh, let us know if you have any objections to this. Okay. Uh, okay. 150 and 200. That is the correct one. So the, the membership joining fee will be 150. For existing members, you do not have to pay this amount. This amount is applicable to new member. And rejoin. Rejoin means that those who exit from our association or terminated their or terminate their membership, then they rejoin and to pay the 150. So for existing members who renew every year, you do not have to pay this amount. You have to pay 200, which is the annual renewal fees because of the cost of uh, in cost. So uh, we have to increase the fees and we believe this fee is very reasonable amongst all the association. So we hope members do not have any objection to this increase of fees. Okay, uh, we also have a comment here whereby because we have a state chapter and we are forming more and more state chapter. So to be fair to the state, right, the 200 renewal fees, 100 will be going to the state, but another 100 will be uh, giving to the main uh, association. So there will be a division of the renewal fees so that the fund will go to the state as well. But we cannot put in the so, uh, this constitution first because we need a approval to form the state. So we verbally we, we inform the arrangement, the division of uh, membership review, renewal fees. It's hard, 100 will go to the state uh, chapter and another 100 will go to the main association. Okay, if uh, do not have any objections, then we'll run through um, the other amendment. Any objections for this amendment in case of fees? Okay. Uh, hi sisters, my name is Cindy. I just want to make a small suggestion. Since we are increasing to 200 a year, why don't increase to 240 a year? So when members join your prorate, right, it's easy, 20 ringgit a month. If not, the account will have problem prorating. When members join halfway. Alright, alright. So there will be 120 for the state and 120 for national. So total is 240. One month then ringgit. Yes, exactly. One month. Because you split 120 for state and 130 for national month. So 240 for total year, easy to come up. Cindy, uh, oh, by the way, I'm Sharon Yen. Uh, you can call me Alia. Cindy is a great idea, but you see, when they sign up straight away, they pay the 200. So, because some people, when 40 ringgit is a little bit more. Yeah. So, we don't be so drastic. So, we stick with uh, 200. So, the minute you, for new members, when you first time join, you pay 150 plus 200. So, 100 will go to the main, the bank like me, the other one will go to your state, so that your state can run activities for you Okay, so with that, no parade. Uh. No parade. Once you join, you decide to to leave. Come on, it's only two hundred. So you not know, the money. Quarterly, like this one, this one we will do the pura by ourselves. 
Is that okay? So we remain 200. Everyone okay? Okay. 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 So um, I will explain more on uh, what. I'm sorry, I'm sure. So I explain more with uh, what Esther said, which means like each chapter will be three uh, each quarter will be three months, right? So if let's say one hundred for uh, two hundred for for one quarter will be fifty ringgit. So we will divide it by quarter, so easier for them. Uh. I agree because um, some member I think maybe join during September. That time during our um, my our nine nine event. So then January they need to pay. That's why um, we can see some comments that yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm showing. Uh, 顺便讲一下，我是 in charge of membership. So, um, 当时你们如果有人要 join 的话。